Hey folks, Pinal County Sheriff Mark Lamb here. Matt Hendrick, Deputy Chief of Pinal County Jail. And welcome to Behind the Bars. As you can see, we're sitting in here in our jail and I'll tell you what, a lot of crazy things happen in these jails every day across America. This is life and you're gonna see life within our facility and how people react to uncomfortable situations. So we're gonna take you through a couple videos and we're gonna give you our commentary. Mind you, I've not seen these videos yet, so you're gonna get a real reaction here. We'll start with the first one. This one's called Dog Bite. And I would affectionately refer this to as Use of Force Buffet. <laughs> so we have uh, a couple guys in here fighting from two up different- Up on the top tier if you're watching the, the video. Tier. And they are fighting over um, their, their status within each criminal set. And as they're fighting, different guys are coming out here. This is an approved fight amongst the gangs. Um, we're watching. Uh, some guys are keeping others from jumping in. They're gonna let this play out as long as they can. Um, and you're about to see, here comes the dog. Oh, all right. Oh. So the other guy's smart, he gets behind the shield, and the dog is now... I shouldn't be laughing, but the other guy yeah. ducked away, he ducked behind that, he knew what's up. Yeah. So he's been becoming acquainted with the dog, um, he's still not listening to anything, you can see the taser has already been deployed. So we had, uh, we have two jo dogs in the jail. Yes, we do. Now these dogs are... Uh, they sniff for drugs, contraband, Yes. can they do phones? Uh, no, <laughs> they don't do phones. But they, do. they also... Let's just tell everybody they do phones. They, okay. <laughs> they might do phones. Yeah. We don't know. <laughs> they could do phones. Do they have the ability? But they're also bite dogs. And um, as you see here, um, when you have a fight and you've got maybe one or two detention officers responding, obviously the dog becomes a force yeah. multiplier. Yeah. So <laughs> the poor luck of this individual is um, he fought in a unit that is right next to where the canines are at. I was so, gonna say, they so there wasn't the a very point. long response time for this, but we use the dogs for cell extractions, combative inmates, um, and they train for this constantly. Not only was he honestly getting beat up, I thought he was losing the fight. He was losing the fight. And the dog comes in and the dog bites him first. The other guy just uh, ducked behind that. So, and, and if you watch how this plays out, the guy in the um, shorts, he's trying to dump him over the, the railing. So now it becomes a fight for life, and the guy with the towel over his head, he now turns the table on him and ends up just putting the whooping on him. Boom, 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 boom. Slapping him up. He's trying to get away. Don't wear orange shorts to give yourself a target. <laughs> um, there's just a lot of things that went wrong for this guy. Um, he ended up getting pepper sprayed. He ended up getting the taser. He ended up getting the dog. So he got a buffet of use of force. <laughs> So what's the moral of the story here? Uh, more of the story is... Besides, don't, don't go to jail. Don't go to jail. That was my first one. <laughs> the second one is, don't get in a fight that you know you ain't going to win. Okay? He picked the fight. He chose to fight this guy. Um, and then the, sec and the third moral is, um, listen to verbal commands. Don't give them an opportunity to do this. We're looking for great Americans to do this job that you just saw on TV. We're hiring. Put your application in. Come be part of the PCSO family. And thank you for joining us on Behind the Bars.